morning, John. It's Tuesday, October 23rd. It seems that you and I, as Brotherhood 2.0, have some explaining to do on several counts. First, we've got my lipstick. I ate a blue lollipop, and it's not washing off. Not actually lipstick. I promise. Second, people seem to be very surprised that I was driving so much last week, and they were confused that I was driving to Seattle just to get on a plane. But if you live in Montana, you understand that that is sometimes a necessity, because it is impossible to fly to some places from Missoula without paying thousands of dollars. So instead, Catherine and I drove like eight hours to Seattle so that we could see some friends, hang out, and then get on an airplane to Georgia, which is where we are now, to see some friends get married. You might recognize these friends as the duo who assisted us in Will You Miss Me When I'm Gone From Your Pants. This is the back of one of their heads, and he's not turning around. Even though I'm fairly certain that he knows that I'm talking about him. Brian? Brian? Oh well. Third thing that we have to explain about, I think, is my aversion to tattoos. Very sorry to the people who were offended by my statements that sometimes people begin to resent their tattoos later in life. I understand that having a tattoo is a personal choice. I have not made that choice for myself. Uh, I could someday maybe decide that I need a tattoo to explain some part of my life, to celebrate some joy, to uh, put something behind me, but I've never had the urge um, because I'm not really in favor of paying for things that hurt. Also, I feel like having a tattoo puts you in a club and people can make judgments about that club. Ooh, tattoos. That guy has tattoos. That must mean he likes to cut the nuts off the little kittens. One of my hopes in life is to minimize visual cues by which people can judge me. Obviously, I'm not 100% good at that. I wear funny t-shirts, I have dark rimmed glasses, I'm wearing blue lollipop lipstick. But all in all, I feel like I would rather people judge me by what I say and how I act than uh, what I look like and what is tattooed across my knuckles. Now obviously the judgment being made against people with tattoos is not the fault of the people with tattoos, but sometimes it's worth screwing with the way you live. <laughs> Interfering with my video blogging. Anyway, I think you get the point. Sometimes it's just not worth joining the team. And while I might not actually take a huge amount of pride in my place at the head of Team Unicorn, I am quite proud of my involvement in Team Science. The idea of science is that you take a bunch of factors and then you work towards a solution. Creationism sort of is the exact opposite. Where you have the solution, because some guy came up with it hundreds of years ago, and then you work towards making everything explain that solution. I'm assuming, John, that that's what you meant when you said that young Earth creationism was rampantly anti-intellectual or something. You kept saying that in the comments. And I just wanted to let you know that, unlike the zombies and unicorns thing, I'm with you on that one. But what's dangerous is getting on the teams and then getting angry at each other, because that's what high school rivalries are about, and that's what holy wars are about, and those are two things that I'm just not a real big fan of. In that spirit, I want to leave you with a story. Katie and Emma went to the same high school, and they thought they were the only nerd fighters at that high school, and then Katie and Emma found each other, and they found out that they were nerd fighters, and now they are stronger because they are nerd fighters together, and that is what matters. It's not fighting against. It is joining up, and that's what nerd fighterness is about, and I don't want people to be pissed off about what I believe, because in the end, John, it's just me talking to you. Don't forget to be awesome. I'll see you tomorrow. These two are married. It's taken a lot of time for my family to come to terms with it. The age difference, mostly. And mostly the age difference, because she's like 40-something. <laughs> she has bad breath. She breathes on me. Look, it's a new kitty. This is Robin. Say hello to the internet, Robin!